I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how to expand a binomial square where radical numbers are involved. That means square roots are involved, right? So what you have learned is a plus b whole square is a plus b times a plus b and the result is a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? This is what you have already learned. And if we have a minus b, in that case this sign is minus, but otherwise it is a square minus 2ab plus b square, right? So this is what you've learned. We'll apply this formula to expand all of them. So we'll, for the first question, actually do it in steps. We'll not directly apply the formula for the convenience of those who want to understand how we really get this formula, right? So we have three different questions here. You can actually pause the video, answer these three questions, then check your solution, right? That's simple. So the question is expand each of the following. First one is binomial square root 5 plus 2 whole square, then we have 2 square root 10 plus 3 square root 15 whole square, 2 square root 3 minus square root 6 whole square. Let's begin with the very first one. When I say square root 5 plus 2 whole square, it really means square root 5 plus 2 times square root 5 plus 2. That is what it means. So there is one factor which is multiplied to itself. So this binomial is being multiplied to itself, right? So we'll apply the distributive property, multiply square root 5 by these two terms and then 2 by those two terms, right? Now, if I do 5 times 5, we get 25 within the square root. You could straight away write 5 also, but let me just write 25 here. So 5 times 5 within square root is 25. Then we'll multiply square root 5 by 2, so we get plus 2 square root 5. And now 2 times square root 5 will give again 2 times square root 5. 2 times 2 is 4. So what you observe here is that these two terms in the center, they are same, right? So if it is plus... Uh, both positive, right? And then they add up. So that is how you get 2ab. That is how you get 2 times ab. The first term is kind of square of this and the last term is square of that, right? So this is b for us, right? And this is a for us. Is that okay? So, I mean, it looks like d. Okay, I hope you get it, right? Anyway, so that is how the formula is. Let's simplify this a bit. Square root of 25 is indeed 5. Plus 2 plus 2 is 4, so we get 4 square root 5, right, and plus 4. If you would have applied the formula square of square root 5 is 5, 2 times these 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 square root 5, and square of 2 is 4. So it works perfectly. Now, for these examples, you could directly apply the formula, write down the result, okay? So you can do it now. Here is my solution. So let's begin by first writing square of the first term. So I will actually write like this. I'll write 2 square root 10 whole square. So that is the square of the first term plus 2 times first term and the second term. 2 times 2 square root 10 times 3 times square root 15. So that is 2ab plus square of the last term which is 3 square root 15 whole square, right? Now, let us write down the solution. Square of 2 is 4, right? So it is 4 times square root of 10 is 10. So we get 4 times 10 is 40 plus 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. So just multiply the numbers separately. So we get 12 here. And within square root, we get 10 times 15, which is 150, okay? Plus... Here we get 3 times square root 15 whole square. Square of 3 is 9 and square of square root 15 is 15. Correct? Now we'll squeeze in uh, the solution for this. 4 times 10 is 40 plus 150, right? So at times what happens is that you could simplify these numbers into uh, better radicals. So whatever is a perfect square here could be... Uh, taken out, right? So that is the whole idea. So you have 
150 as the square root. So how would you write this as? So let's take this up as a separate issue. So 150 could be taken as, let me write down on the side, 150 could be written as 25 times 6. And uh, when you are doing square root of 150, let me show it here like this, right? In that case, square root of 25 is 5, right? So we could write this as 5 outside the square root and 6 inside. Do you get the idea? So this term could be written as 5 square root 6. Once it is written as 5 square root 6, I'll multiply 5 with 12 to write the numbers and then the radical part will be square root 6, okay? So I'm multiplying 5 with 12, which gives me 60. So you get 60 square root of 6 plus multiply 9 by 15. You can always use calculator. 9 times 5 is 45 and 4 plus 9 is 13. So that is your result. I hope these steps are absolutely clear, right? Now let's do the same process for the last one, which is 2 square root 3 minus square root 6 whole square. So what we get here is square of the first term, right? So let's follow the steps once again. 2 square root 3 whole square, square of the first term minus, since this is negative, okay, minus 2 times all this, so it is 2 times 2 square root 3 times square root 6. You get the idea. Plus square of the next term which is square root 6 whole square right now square of this is 4 times 3 so i'm not using this step but you know square root of 3 is 3 so 4 times 3 is 12 so we get 12 here 2 times 2 is 4 and 6 times 3 is 18 now 18 could be written as 9 times 2 right so Okay, <laughs> that becomes complicated anyway, so I'll, I'll prefer to do it in two steps. Okay, square root of 18, let me go one by one. I could have written 3 times 2 for 6 and made it simpler for you. Anyway, uh, this is 6. So let's go one more step here. So we have 12 and we can add 6, right? So let me just write this 12 and 6 together in this case. We'll add this up. And look here, we have 4 square root 18. So let me show you this 4 square root 18 uh, like this. 4 square root 18, 18 could be written as uh, 4 square root 9 times 2, right? Square root of 9 is 3, so it becomes 4 times 3 times square root 2. 4 times 3 is 12. So that is what I wanted to say. Uh, 12 square root 2, right? Now this could be written as 12 plus 6 is 18, right? So 18 plus 12 square root 2. So that is how you could expand the given binomial square and write a solution. I hope these three questions give you a good idea about squaring binomials with radicals. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you.